Hello everyone. Did you know that your phones have apps built into the firmware that track your every action? That is, how many times you tap the screen, how many times you open a particular app in a day, for example, how many videos you've watched on YouTube. This information is collected from every app you install through Google Play. Casly tracks absolutely every action, so it remembers what you write and who you send it to. It's advisable to get rid of this, because it's completely unnecessary analytics that are sent somewhere. It's not clear where it's sent home. Of course, this only benefits the developers, because they know how many times you open their specific app, how much time you spend there, and so on. Why would you need this? Of course, it's complete nonsense that no one needs. And most importantly, it drains your battery just because of this monitoring. Besides, your privacy is basically not violated. After all, you give permission for all these apps to work. It's your phone. You should keep track of which settings are working and which aren't. Of course, you can't show anything to anyone. Watch closely. I'm showing you one of these things that needs to be neutralized a little. Go to the standard settings and look for something called digital well-being and parental controls. If you can't find it, then search through the standard search. Here, enter all the similar settings. They're called digital well-being, parental controls, and so on. Go here and take a look. But I've only mentioned a small part of what they do. They collect the entire phone year. If you read this, you'll really be shocked. So, what do we need to do? Well, at least we won't disable it, but we'll neutralize it. To prevent information collection here, on the right, you need to click the three dots and find data management. We went here. It says daily phone usage. These are the statistics that are collected here. It's slightly disabled. Look, I'm clicking the slider on the right. They light up. You need to click here to close access to the settings. After that, a menu like this will appear for each of them. Of course, among all these apps, there will be different ones that you need to scroll through and find specifically digital well-being. Here it is. You can search by icon, like this icon, but of course, on some phones the icon may be slightly different. Let's go to digital well-being again. The idea is to allow access. Now we turn off the slider on the right. We go back with the back arrow again. And now in the statistics, there is a disabled slider. And now there will be no unnecessary monitoring. That is, in principle, digital well-being will continue to work. If someone uses it, we have done nothing wrong. It will continue to function, but it will no longer collect all this information that gets wasted and goes somewhere else. Support this video by liking, subscribing to the channel, and sharing with your friends.